there! Thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you don't know me, my name's Claire and I'm an online English teacher. And a couple of you have requested that I do a video on how to write an essay in English. Now, we live in a world of AI now and I can't ignore that a lot of people are starting to use AI tools for things like writing essays. So I thought we could explore together how to use a little tool called ChatGPT that I'm sure many of you have heard of. And we're going to see how it can help us put together an essay in English. Let's go. English made easy with Claire. Okay, so first we're going to go to chat.openeye.com. If you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to sign up for one. But I feel like a lot of you already know all about ChatGPT and probably already have used it a few times. Obviously, we're, we don't want to use ChatGPT to write material for us because then we wouldn't really be improving our English that way, but it can help us get started. Okay, so we're just going to write into ChatGPT how do you write an essay? And it's going to just give us a rough outline here. Okay, cool. And as you may know already, there is a certain structure to essays. Here it's telling us to understand the assignment, and brainstorm ideas. Those are very crucial steps. We have to know what our topic is. We have to brainstorm what our argument is or what our main idea is going to be. So here in number three, this is very important to clearly state this main idea or main argument in one or two sentences. That's really important before we even start doing an essay is you write your main idea down. One, two sentences tops. Okay, so then this is the basic structure of an essay. You have your introduction, then you have your body, and you have your conclusion. Here's how we can write the introduction, which is here, number five. So we provide background information on the topic. We present that thesis statement that we came up with earlier in step three. Then what a lot of you may have already heard about in essays is a hook. And a hook is something that's going to grab the reader's attention. So these are the main, these are the three important things we need for our introduction. The background information on our topic, the actual main idea that we're why we're writing the essay and then we need a hook so it doesn't kind of matter what order those things go in the hook can come at the very beginning but we definitely want to make sure to have those three things then we're going to write the body paragraphs i think a good start is at least three paragraphs for the body so at least three supporting ideas and for each of these paragraphs we need to start them with a topic sentence then you're going to need to use the most of the paragraph to support your ideas you're going to give examples you might give quotes um, you're definitely going to show evidence that proves what you're saying is correct Another really important aspect of body paragraphs are the transitions. Maybe right before your topic sentence, you have a really good transition that brings you from the last paragraph into the next one. And that's really important between body paragraphs. So if you ended with one strong point in so many words, you're going to imply, this leads me nicely to my next topic sentence. So my next paragraph and then you introduce that argument. Okay, the final piece of our essay is to write a conclusion. And in the conclusion, the most important part is to summarize. You're kind of gonna take all the main points, topic sentences, and summarize what you've already said. And then you're going to say your thesis or your main idea in a different way. So you might just rephrase it. You're just going to want to not write the exact same thing again. It's gonna want it to be just a little bit different to keep it interesting so it doesn't seem like you just copy and pasted from the introduction. And depending on what type of essay it is, 
You might want to end with a call to action or leave them with something thought provoking that maybe makes them think about how this topic affects their own life. You want to have a nice ending that kind of ties up your essay in a nice presentable package. Okay, then it's really important to revise and edit your essay. So check for spelling and grammar mistakes. Again, ChatGPT can help with that as well. These tools that we have these days are really amazing. So we should definitely use them to our advantage. And ChatGPT here also suggests to maybe have someone read over your essay and provide feedback. Just finalize it, so add any final thoughts or adjustments after you receive said feedback, okay? And then ChatGPT just generally gives us some tips here. And of course, at the very end, you will need to properly cite any sources that you use. So that's like websites or books. Um, ChatGPT can probably also help you with the proper citation for those things. Okay, so now let's have ChatGPT give us an example essay so we can find these things within an essay. Essay about veganism. The main argument will be being vegan is better for the planet. Okay, let's see what ChatGPT Chat comes up with. Okay, so we're off to a good start here. We have introduction. Uh, then it's already working on the body of our essay. And so far there's two paragraphs here. Okay, three, our magic number three. And then conclusion. Good, so ChatGPT practices what it preaches. Okay, let's take a look at this essay. We have a title as well, which is always a good idea. The environmental case for veganism. Okay, that's pretty much exactly what I asked for. So first off, I can see already, it gives us some background information. It also defines what being vegan means. So that's also giving background. And then it looks like right here, we have our topic sentence. This essay contends that being vegan is a superior choice for the planet, providing substantial benefits to the environment through, and then it gives our three supporting ideas already here in the topic sentence. We have reduced greenhouse gas emissions, conservation of natural resources, and mitigation of deforesta uh, deforestation. So then we take a look at the body, and again, look, we see here one, that was the first one listed, reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Two is conservation of natural resources. And three, the mitigation of deforestation. And then within each one, if we took the time to read each of these paragraphs, we could find the topic sentence as well. Let's see if we, let's just take the first one and see if we can find it in there. Usually it's the first sentence in the paragraph. So our first number one here, here's our topic sentence. One of the primary environmental benefits of adopting a vegan lifestyle is the significant reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Great, that's what we're gonna be talking about in this paragraph, that's so clear. Okay, so then moving to the next paragraph, we see here that it does have a nice transition by mentioning, by abstaining from animal agriculture, blah, 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 blah. And then in the next sentence, we have explaining what animal agriculture is, then transitioning into our next point, which was the conservation of natural resources. And it's saying our next topic sentence here, this can help conserve these precious resources, which were listed in the previous sentence. So that's kind of what we mean by transitions. It's not just words like then and next and subsequently. These words are also really good, but it's all about like connecting ideas from one paragraph to the next as well. Okay, so let's take a look at our conclusion and a great phrase to start off a conclusion is this one right here, in conclusion. It works every time. It's just going to go and summarize what the essay has already said so far. Here is our reiteration of our main argument, our topic sentence. And then it leaves you with a little nugget here, Could maybe be seen as a call to action, um, saying that we kind of all have an impact on the future of our world. This lesson is here by making this choice, we are basically helping the future generations. So there you go. A uh, little call to action, maybe by the end of the essay you're considering veganism, I don't know. <laughs> if you're having to write an essay in English, 
make sure to use this structure and don't forget all the details like the transitions and the three things that we want in the introduction and the call to action in the conclusion. We have so many amazing tools at our disposal now that we can use things like AI to help us hone our arguments to say, oh, how could I transition this better? How, what's a really good hook for this topic? So as long as you kind of know what your aim is, and I hope now after this video you do, that's how we can use things like AI. So I hope this video is helpful to you guys. It's not sponsored or anything, but we have so many of these AI tools at our disposal now that I want you to be able to use them in a way that benefits you and benefits your language learning journey. So yeah. If you can't beat them, join them. Thank you so much for tuning in with this video. Go ahead and give it a like if you found it useful. Write in the comments if you'd use ChatGPT for anything else with your language learning. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell so you get notifications on any of my new videos. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.